So today, guys, let's take a look at this item I bought recently off Amazon. I paid $12.45 after a 6% uh, coupon. And um, it's called a woodworking measuring rule. It's made out of aluminum. You've got your 45 degrees and your 90 degrees. And this brand, and one thing I find is that there's so many different manufacturers on Amazon making the same damn thing. Different colors, uh, different prices. They run the gamut. And um, this particular one brand was F A Y Y A. Now this thing took a while to get to me. I think it actually did come all the way on a slow boat from China. But this is what was on the outside of the uh, uh, those uh, soft type bag, bubble bags. But uh, it, it, it took a few weeks to get to me. Now included, you will get this Allen wrench because it's attached on the back side here, you see, with two stainless steel flat uh, uh, socket head bolts. Now, I'm never a fan of the uh, Allen wrenches that come with stuff like this because they're always going to be cheap. So I just use my Bondis. Uh, if you don't have any, obviously, use what comes with it. But uh, otherwise, it's a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. So my neighbor actually got one. <clears throat> he got his in black. And I thought, whoa, that thing's pretty damn cool. <clears throat> I got to get one. Now, as you can see... You can do your square lines here, your 45s over here, you can come over here like this, do your 90s, but the main reason I bought this was for one purpose only. But first let's take a look at this. Uh, I have to say I was a little disappointed, I don't know if it shows up good, there's a lot of nicks in here. You can see that this is nicked here in the corner. There's nicks elsewhere. Uh, for something brand new, here you can see it was it's nicked in the corner here. Uh, but for the price, I guess you, you get what you get. Can't expect too much at this price point, I guess. And it'll it'll work for what I want. But I was like I said, when you get something like this, it should be in good shape. You shouldn't have to worry about scratches along here but anyways I thought I'd point that out now for whatever reason I couldn't get this in uh, standard measure it's metric which is no big deal because I'm not even going to use this as a measuring tool but I point that out this particular one I could not find it I would have preferred to have gotten the inch but it's not a major deal there are, uh, in the neighbors is inch, uh, you, and they're readily available. Something else that I did, as stated, this comes in two pieces. You get the Allen wrench and these two, and the two pieces, and you put them together. Because apparently you can use them separate, should you choose. I have no desire to use them separate. So here's what I did. I took a little bit of uh, two-part epoxy took a very thin amount on a toothpick once I mixed it and put it inside that uh, groove and so then screwed it together then I took it on a uh, granite plate which I have I have a couple granite plates and though they are very uh, precisely ground and flat and parallel surface uh, a flat surface that machinists use for different setups and measuring and, and, and different things. So that's what I did to ensure that these two surfaces were perfectly um, the same, that this wasn't lifted up. And the reason for that I'll show you in a second. Uh, you could use anything that uh, you know you think is relatively flat. I was a little picky when I did that. Now when you put that epoxy in there I don't know if this will show up I think you can see it there along that parting line you can see that the epoxy will ooze out on both sides 
And so what I did is make sure you have lacquer thinner available. Here you can see it there, kind of shiny right there. Make sure you have lacquer thinner available, paper towels, and all I did is once I tightened it down, had it where I wanted it, then I took the paper towels and ran them along here with lacquer thinner. And you have to use several because you want to use, every time you go a swipe, you want it cleaned. A clean paper towel with lacquer thinner. It did not affect the anodizing. And what that allowed then was to ensure you want to make sure that these corners here and here don't have any, if you do what I did, don't have any epoxy because that will screw you up when you when you go to put this uh, on your part. So you want to ensure that no epoxy is sticking up there. And so that, that's what I did, like I said, because I have one use for this and one use only. So if we take a look at this, if you take a standard square, combination square, tri-square, and you just and you didn't have this other leg over here, and you just came across and made a mark, and you wanted to transfer that mark to this side, when you have a radius like that, or even a bigger radius, it's very hard to determine where to pick that line up here, because it falls off into a radius. But with this, guys, it doesn't matter about that radius because you can come across here and up here and that will ensure, even though you didn't get into that radius, that ensures that this line here follows directly down. And so again, that's the beauty of this little tool.